Hey guys, guess what day it is? It's Money Monday and I'm Kalila with the latest business and finance news you need to know. Today I have some very useful info for you. As a matter of fact, it's the question I get asked the most. But before I tell you what it is, let me just back up a bit and then you'll understand why I get asked this question so often. If you follow business news in Jamaica at all, you would have heard that Jamaica had the best performing stock market in the world last year. And not just last year, 2015 was another phenomenal year too. And the years in between, people were doubling and even tripling their investment in just a few months if you chose the right stocks, of course. It's definitely been a bull market for Jamaica for the past three years and change. Now, when I say the world's best performing stock market, I'm not even exaggerating. What that means is that if you invested your money in all the stock markets in the world last year, you would have earned more from the Jamaica Stock Exchange than you did from any of the other markets worldwide. I'm not kidding. This is for real, guys. If you look at Fontana Pharmacy, for example, which listed on the JSC in January, the stock price opened at $1.89 each. Those same stocks today are worth $3.97 each, more than double. So if you had invested $5,000 in Fontana when it listed, that $5,000 would now have grown to $10,500 in just three months. Now, not every stock is a Fontana, of course, and in coming weeks, I'll be giving you tips on how to spot some of the good ones and also explaining some of the investment terms and jargon that you may hear. So the question I get all the time is, how do I get in? How do I invest on the stock market? People are amazed that you can make these kinds of returns legally. This is not some loom scheme or cash plus. This is the Jamaica Stock Exchange, the JSE. Very well managed, very well regulated. Okay, so how do you invest? The first thing you have to do is open an investment account. There are several brokerage firms to choose from. You have Proven Wealth Management, SSL, Barita, and most if not all of the banks have brokerage arms. So you have Scotia Investments, NCB Capital Markets, Sajikor, and others. Opening an investment account is a lot like opening a bank account. You're gonna need ID, TRN, proof of address like a light bill, and probably two references. They might also ask you to take a form for your references to fill out and sign. Depending on where you go, this could take anywhere from an hour to all afternoon. Think of it just like opening a, a new regular bank account. You might have to wait and then there's a lot of paperwork to fill out and of course it's a whole lot easier and faster if you have everything that you need on hand. So I'd say, you know, call ahead and find out what all they'll need you to bring in. Now, whoever is opening the account for you will more than likely be your new investment advisor, your, your broker. So you definitely want to take that person's contact information. He or she will ask you questions to determine your risk profile, meaning how comfortable are you with taking certain types of risk, and they'll use that information to recommend certain investments to you. You're probably wondering also how much money you have to, to have in order to invest because people think it, you, know, you have to be rich to invest, but not necessarily. The minimum investment is just 100 units of any stock. You have cheap stocks and you have expensive stocks. Right now, the cheapest stock on the Jamaican dollar market of the JSC is just 12 cents. So you could literally buy 100 shares of that stock for 12 Jamaican dollars, silver money. That's just to point out that you don't necessarily have to have a whole lot of money to trade. Once you have your investment account set up, it's pretty easy from there. You follow the latest business news like right here on Money Mondays. The JSC also has an app that can keep you updated and you keep track of which companies are performing well and could potentially be a good investment. Then you call your broker when you've decided, okay, I wanna put some money here or when you're ready to sell, which is another conversation we need to have. Also, when you hear about an IPO coming up like Wigton Wind Farm that everybody's been buzzing about for some time. In future episodes, I'll explain the difference between the different markets on the JSC. What's an IPO? How do I even choose which stocks to invest in? And a million other questions you guys have, some of which I'd like to answer to myself. The beauty of being a journalist is whatever I don't know, I can always find out. So leave your comments and your questions below. What do you want to know about investing on the stock market? What topics would you like me to cover? Of course, please share this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. Okay. 
time now for our credit giveaway as promised are you ready this is five hundred dollars digicel credit the number is two three one five seven zero seven zero one zero zero nine zero good luck see you guys later money mondays